So I'm here with the Scorpio X. It's a prototype, uh, but it's rideable as, as the videos will show. And, um, but it's still a pre-production prototype, meaning there are lots of things about uh, this bike that is not finalized yet and will be even, what I understand to be more refined uh, by the time a working prototype comes out in I think September, uh, as I'm told. So I'm here with uh, Scorpio Electric CTO Kuang Xing, who is here to tell me about some of the highlights and features of the bike and what we can expect uh, for the uh, for the model when it comes out. So Kuang Xing, um, you were telling me about this. This it's more than just an EV on two wheels. There's a, there's a software element to it. Uh, you're telling me about uh, how, how does this bike kind of uh, integrate with the, the smartphone app that you're working on mm. and stuff like that. So what are the things that we can do on the bike that with the, with the app when it's out will be able to, to mm. function? Okay, so I think where we're trying to create is a whole new level of digital intelligence okay. that's integral to this uh, electric motorcycle. So. The mobile app is, a, is of course a, a very convenient tool mm -hmm. um, for us to actually uh, provide um, another dimension of uh, user experience to our customer. So in terms of the electric motorcycle, of course there are a lot of sensors that we put inside and okay. actually collect a lot of data. Okay. Uh, and there are a couple of interesting kind of features. For example, you could use the mobile app to lock and lock and lock and unlock the bike. Okay. Um, you could even give um, access to your family members okay. that uh, you can, can use share the bike. to use the bike. Yeah. Um, there are other features, for example, where if your bike goes off to a certain location, go out of a certain location, like a Joe fancy area, mm -hmm. you should be able to detect and tell you that there's a potential kind of theft okay. that's going on. Okay. Um, if the bike encounters certain kind of uh, collision or, you know, fouls off, mm -hmm. this will have no duplication actually going okay. into the mobile phone. And you call the police, um, ambulance or whatever. Yeah, it can be tied up to a certain uh, emergency response and all these other things that you can actually create different types of features. Uh, like okay, that. okay. So there's this smartphone connectivity uh, and all that. Are you planning on uh, designing maybe a, a kind of a cradle or a charger or anything like that? Um, I think it would be quite similar to how you see, uh, you know. Okay, so right now it, it talks to your phone via um, what, Bluetooth? Yes, oh, okay. so it's a Bluetooth communication. Okay. Um, there's also, the bike itself also has a um, cellular kind of communication. Okay. It actually talks to our, our, our back end and top. Okay. Um, so this will provide additional kind of like uh, um, um, communication. That's where the, the data off. collection is, is you're talking yes, about, Yes, right? correct. So, so there will be data collection uh, from the uh, cellular to the backend as well as to the mobile phone, which will also be talking to our backend. I see. So what kind of data does it collect or how do you interpret this? So there are things like, for example, we look at uh, 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 the uh, health of the battery okay. so in terms of uh, the temperature of the battery, uh, mm -hmm. how much it's actually got discharged in one trip, so we collect all this information over time to actually look at um, what, is, what is your battery health okay. status. There'll be other things that we would collect in future in terms of uh, you know like vibrations uh, that can actually tell you a certain wear and tear okay. information. So okay. this could then create things like predictive maintenance in future, okay. um, where a certain maintenance doesn't have to be on regular basis, but uh, should be able to be more preemptive in telling you that because of certain kind of conditions that have been detected, mm -hmm. uh, this can actually give uh, the, the alerts to, uh, you, to, I see. Uh, to our potential customer to actually bring it for servicing. Okay. And what would you say? I mean, I'm sure there might be some skeptical individuals who, who would say, uh, oh, does this mean you can tell when I'm speeding or, you know, that kind of thing? Or how, are you going to collect that data? Or? Do you have to um, anything to worry about? I, I don't think you have to worry about because we are not going down to uh, in terms of uh, collecting uh, that kind of uh, speed information that would then say, you know, uh, restrict. I won't right? get a letter in the yeah. mail saying your uh, speeding ticket. You know, precisely, right? precisely. But I think in terms of what we are trying to provide information is, for example, during this trip that you have, you have done, right, uh, the information could tell you how fast you actually travel, uh, even do you have harsh breakings? It, it actually tells you about your riding behavior. 
Okay. And in that sense, actually helps you to um, either create more situation awareness or you know um, create better riding behavior. I think these are the things that the data that we collect is actually trying to uh, enhance or trying to uh, create uh, more value to our customer rather than you know trying to penalize or trying to find imports. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. Now let's talk about the mechanical parts of the the, the, the bike, right? So. Um, it's powered by, I, I, I'm looking at a single electric motor? Yep. Okay, and what is a belt drive or direct drive? It's a belt drive, uh, okay. a single swing arm. So single you swing look at arm. the okay. single swing arm is on one side of it. Okay. Uh, it actually gives and a very is, aesthetic. Is that make it easy for maintenance or it's a design thing? Or what? One single is uh, the aesthetic of it. So as a, as a sports or a performance looking bike, okay. normally you will see a design with a single swing arm. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, having a single swing arm, it, it reduces the number of parts. Okay. Uh, it actually helps to reduce the weight itself. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of engineering challenges that you need to make uh -huh. uh, because of the balance and all this. Okay, okay. That so that's something I have to work on. Yeah. Okay. And this, this motor, how, how powerful is this motor? This motor has a max power output of 10 kilowatt. 10 kilowatts, uh, okay. Which would be sufficient to drive a, a top speed of about one. 105 kilometers per hour, of course in ideal conditions, right, depending right. on the weight of the, for example, okay. uh, loading weight and things like that. Uh, yep, yep. But it has the... Uh, okay, um, so I, I'm gonna say that you designed this to peg it to, so someone with a class 2B license can, can, can ride it? Yes, this is equivalent to a 125 to 150 cc equivalent of an internal combustion uh, scooter. Okay. Equivalent to 125 to 125 two, to 150 150 cc. cc. Yeah. Okay, okay, and that was done um, intentionally. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, yes. okay. You this product to... is like a motorcycle. Yes, it's a it's a scooter okay. Car design. Okay, okay. So um, tell me about the range of, 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 of this bike. What do you expect? Uh, how far can it travel on a full charge? So for a single full charge, this bike can go up to about 200 kilometers in a city or urban riding condition. Okay. Um, and it takes about um, three to four hours. Um, from zero? From, from zero from... to full charge. Okay. Full charge. But obviously, um, a lot of EVs, they don't even let you go down to zero. There's a, a whole charge of state of charge hole, right? Definitely, yes. Yeah, yeah. So what would you uh, expect the state of charge hole to, 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 to be? Down well, to... normally it depends on uh, the, the the, the driving conditions, so it depends on the conditions that you drive. Okay. Um, but based on the conditions, uh, we would actually put the, um, the the software actually will try to uh, limit the amount of uh, you know, speed that you can actually travel. Right? I see. Yep. Okay. Okay. So is it three or four hours? Um, would, would that be at a, like a home wall socket, or would that be at a commercial charging point? Um, both commercial as well as the home. Okay, uh, regardless, it's the, still the same. Yes, it will take the same amount of time to actually charge in three to four hours. I see. And I we see. think that three, three to four hours will be a, a quite a reasonable amount of time, uh, given that there will be more um, charging stations okay. to be rolled out in Singapore in the uh -huh. future. Yeah. Now, having a, a wide range of covering, a wide range of uh, uh, coverage of charging stations, okay. you can actually take opportunity in terms of what we call opportunistic charging. So you don't have to charge your battery in your food. Probably uh, 10 to 30 minutes will, should be able to get you enough uh, coverage. And Singapore, in terms of uh, CD driving, uh, uh, quite in terms of 100 kilometers will get you. Uh, I see, well. I see. Okay, okay. And, and how do you charge this thing? Where's the, where would the charging socket be? So there'll be a Type 2 charging port that will sit behind a glove compartment that oh. will be situated here. Okay. And this will have a latch that actually can be locked. I see. Um, so when you unlock, you can actually plug in your, your um, plug into it. Right. I see. Will, will it only accept AC or will it take DC as well? Only AC. Only so AC, only AC yeah. chargers. Uh, okay, okay. Cool. And, and like other EVs, we have a lockable function, things like yes. that. Yes, this one will have the same uh, lockable functions as normal electric vehicles. I see. Okay. Wow. This this uh, seems like an interesting. Uh, it's gonna yes, it is. look pretty exciting and uh, yeah, really cool. Okay, I can't wait to see this. Uh, Likewise, I can't wait to see it and go down the road. Yeah.